Hello, math lovers. Let's find the value of under root 2 times under root 4 times under root 8 times under root 16 and so on till kingdom come. All right, so let's rewrite this so that we can manipulate it, make it more manageable. So this thing can be written as if you look at this 2, it is inside 1 under root sign. So I can write this as 2 raised to the power 1 upon 2. Now, if you notice the 4, it is inside 2 under root signs. So this can be written as, and this is uh, into, this can be written as 4 half into half, because there are 2 under root signs. The next term is 8 and it is inside 3 under root sign. So half times half times half. And the next one, which is 16, it is inside 4 under root signs. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'll write half times half times half times half and so on. Now this can be written as 2 raised to the power 1 by 2 into 4. 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 4. 8. 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2, which is 1 by 8. 16. 2, 2, 2, 4 times. So it is 1 by 16. And the next term will be 32. It will be 1 upon 32. And so on. Which means And I will now rewrite it. So 4 can be written as 2 squared. 8 can be written as 2 cube. 16 can be written as 2 raised to the power 4. 32 can be written as 2 raised to the power 5. And so on. Now let's open the brackets and we know that a power m power 1 upon n can be written as if I open this bracket and bring the, the two exponents together, it is a power m divided by n. So using this property of exponents, I'll get 2 raised to the power 1 by 2 times 2 raised to the power 2 by 4 times 2 raised to the power 3 by 8, times 2 raised to the power 4 upon 16, times 2 raised to the power 5 upon 32, and so on. Now, this is equal to, I can use another property of ex exponents, which is, if the base is equal, I can add the exponents. So what this means is a power m times a power n is equal to a power m plus n. So let's use this property of exponents to turn my equation or to turn, uh, to turn my series into this. All right, now let s be equal to, now let's find the value of this summation of exponents. And I'm interested in now finding the value of this. 3 by 8 plus 4 by 16 plus 5 by 32 and plus and so on. Now let us divide both sides by 2. So left hand side becomes 1 upon 2s and this is equal to half divided by 2 is 1 by 4 and there are a reason why I have left some space here. 2 divided by 4 will become 2 divided by 8 plus 3 divided by 8 will become 3 divided by 16 plus 4 divided by 16 will become 4 divided by 32 and so on. 
Now let us call this equation number one and let us call this equation number two. Now let us subtract two from one. So this will give me s minus one upon two s is equal to, now look, this is two, this is one. So this is two upon four, this is one upon. So two upon four minus one upon four. Next term is three upon eight and here we have two upon eight. Three upon eight minus two upon eight is one upon eight. Similarly, four upon 16 minus three upon 16 is one upon 16. So we are getting a very interesting series here, which is one upon two plus one upon four plus one upon eight plus one upon 16 plus one upon 32 plus and so on. Now, as you can see, the numerator is one, which simplifies our life. On the left hand side, I have one upon two s and the right hand side is an infinite series starting with one, one upon two. So it is of the form, the n it, it is n is equal to one to infinity, one divided by two power n. And we know that this is equal to one. All right, so right hand side is equal to one, which means s is equal to two. All right, so now let's substitute the value of s. So here, now this entire thing is s. So our series becomes two raised to the power two, which is equal to four. And this is the answer. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.